to welcome back to another video of Mutiny, a pirate survival RPG. How are we doing guys? Hope you guys are well. So what I want to do today is I want to head over to Dove Code here and I want to try and, well, do ourselves a, a job basically. But before we do that, I was looking into something and it sort of made sense for me to have a look at it first before we get right into um, the uh, the job there because only because I'm speculating that we do get ourselves a recruit and part of this game's mechanic which is obviously different from any other survival game that we've currently played thus far is the ability to recruit in new members to your clan so to speak so with that being said let's have a look into the projects and check out the berths so the more berths the more sailors you can hire so I was thinking about sorry I was thinking about doing this anyway and I figured well you know what let's just bring you guys into the no and for whatever reason I've got that little rabbit that pesky rabbit go away <laughs> you can't you it won't allow you to drop the there we go now I don't know what orientation this is so I'm gonna leave it like that anyway so this is the birth this will allow us to have more people added into the said um, clan so to speak so we can hire more people now we've got the rough hide that we're going to need to get and some copper fasteners and the palm and jute fabric roll I've already got the oil lamp I think I've got one of maybe one or two bits of rum I think but I figured that might be something that we could utilize anyway let's go ahead and accept this fella here and We've got one here and then we've got one over here So this one's telling us to go to the Lucius Island now I believe the, the Lucius Island here is going to be the harder island which if I go to the stone or the bamboo island This would be a easier quest for us to do so let's head out and Let's see how this gets on basically so this is what we're going to be doing today. So it's interesting to know and how this will differ from Westland Survival in the way that we do the old bounty hunts and things like that here. But I believe the Lucius Island, yeah, oh, that's the tropical, that's the horn. And I just wanted to quickly look at this before we sort of head off. You've got the dead island over there and you've got another horn island over there. And you've got the shallow waters. I think it's over here. We've got mountain, horned. I will find it. Yeah, so that's a three skull zone. So we're definitely not going to go there just to find or trying to obtain whatever it is, whether it's um, in this case like parchments or scrolls or anything like that. I'm not too sure if they're going to be using the scroll system. We're about to find out anyway. So let us enter this island and we'll check it out if I can get in there. Thank you. So, so far, how have you guys been enjoying these videos? Are you enjoying the game itself? Are you one of the very lucky few that have been able to play the game? Or for the majority, a lot of you guys are still waiting for this update to come through and you guys can get to playing as well. I think that's probably going to be for the most part for a lot of people, unfortunately. Um, it is what it is. I really want you guys to play this you know as soon as possible if we can you know if we can get down uh, you know to that point but the game's only been out for less than a week and that's the thing it's only just been released and I get it that you know a lot of people might be excited about the fact that there's a brand new game um, a, a slightly different game to what we're you know we're kind of used to but also in a way that we more or less just want everyone to start playing the game more or less so I think that's where that's at at the moment but my um, my thing with this is I really want 
you guys to see as much as possible. Okay, cool. So it's a map uh, fragment, which is cool. So I'm guessing that we're going to need to get at least two to three fragments before we can salt together, so to speak, and then find where the hideout is and then go ahead and claim on the bounty. Oop, a couple of these iguanas here. Oop, my weapon broke. No, we cannot have that. Okay, um, I'm going to need to find another lootable container somewhere. Don't want to really waste my time with not doing that. So, see if we can... Um, Okay, here we go. Uh, let's just sneak up on you because not on my luck. I'm going to antagonize you and you're going to come over and annoy me. Okay, so map fragment number two. Can we join them yet? We cannot. All right, so we're going to need one more. Cool, let's hope this bounty hunter has what we need. Oh man, he really did a decent... Ah, here we go. Cool. Did a decent attack on me. Just in the nick of time all right cool so let's go ahead and join that and find the hideout all right cool so you found the location of your bounty target it is available on the map all right cool so that's that so we can now definitely get ourselves out of here and find our way over to the bounty and see what's what really i'm just grabbing a few of these just in case, just for healing purposes and all that sort of good stuff. Just want to get on the prepared side with that. And I found some cane seeds, so all well and good. Yeah, so this has been an enjoyable game for me. I'm actually really enjoying myself whilst playing this game. Don't know about you guys, I know a lot of you guys haven't had the opportunity to do so. And like I said, this is why I want to... Um, have as much content as possible to cover it as best as I can just for you guys so at least oh my god you are way out of the way all right well we're gonna have to do it and get ourselves over there but yeah this is why I want to give you guys as much exposure as possible so you guys are gonna be a lot more prepared than myself because no one else is playing this game at the moment or granted not a lot of people are playing this game at the moment so this is why I want to be kind of like a pioneer let's, let's call it like that but at least this is going to be to your greater benefit and at least this way you guys are going to be better equipped and know exactly what you need to do coming into the game when you finally get your available version of it and this way you guys will be able to I would imagine that you guys would be able to who is this oh my god okay I was gonna say I thought that was the the when uh, like the when did go and oh damn I, I went into that uh, equivalent oh Jesus oh why did I leave oh if he if he's back up to full power again I'm gonna be in a bit of trouble Oh, that's not good. All right, what I'm going to quickly do is quickly go into my satchel. Oh, by the way, I did make my purchase. Yes, I did purchase the leather bag. So I spent the um, the coin for it and only just to support the developers. Only reason why I did it, um, I just want to be clear with that. I do prefer to, you know, free to play, but I just wanted to give them my gratitude and support the developers, especially when the game has only just come out. So if you guys get the opportunity, um, it was $3.50 Australian for it. Um, if you guys want to take part in that, and you know what, personally, I think that would be, oh cool, he's not fully healed. Um, I think that'll be a good thing just for supporting the developers. It's a really good game. I reckon it's really polished that's just my opinion on it but I think you guys would agree as well this is a solid game so far and I reckon it's only going to get better well he is done all right what do we get from you oh well, I'm just gonna take all of it 
and with this task I have to go back and report. I don't know who I need to report to. That's the thing. I think I have to report back to the dovecoat, maybe? I am not too sure. But what I want to do is I want to take out this bodyguard. Oh, Jesus. And I want to take what you have. Only a bit of rope. Not a lot. And this is Greenfellow over here. Look at you, thank you. I'll just catch the breath right here. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Put this fella here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. He's I'm gonna die. Nope, just got him. Uh, heal up. Oh, okay, I can report to him. Oh, okay, so you have to do it on site. Interesting. Can I do anything else with you? No? Thank you, no, I'm off from... Okay, cool, alright. Well, look, I'm not going to... ignore these guys over here. Because I do not have a weapon to speak of right now, so... Um, yeah, that's not going to happen there. But, that's pretty cool. So at least we've had the ability to now know how a bounty works and what to expect. And I guess, you know, at the end of the day, um, you guys are going to have a little bit more experience behind you. So yeah, it's a little bit different to that of Westland. I mean, obviously there's no town for you to physically go into just yet. And, you know, report to say like a sheriff figure as opposed to like how Westland does it at the moment. So, you know, there's that, and I guess, yeah, that's pretty much it. So you've got the person you've got to report to who is on site, basically, and you just got to take out the, uh, the boss person who actually follows you around, who finds you and, you know, starts slowly coming over to you. Well, I would assume, though, that there would be some sort of, you know, point of difference. So I would think that there would be... Um, uh, what do you call it? Like different styles of, you know, enemies, things like that. That's just my opinion on it. You now you might have some ones that will be slow, like you've just seen here. You might have others that are, you know, fairly quick. So, yeah, that might be that. Hey, the, the the guy in green is still over here. Can I still speak to you? Okay. I was kind of hoping, do I get the ability to recruit someone? Um, let's go into our main inventory here. Does it... Oh, we've got a copper sabre. Okay, that's not bad. I'm going to hold on to these for a little bit just to see how that all sort of pans out, I guess. And if I need to, I can just sort of dip into that. But for now, I'll leave it the way it is. And I think there's a little a bug actually I'm going to point out. So might have to point that out to the developers for whatever reason. This is the second time that I've done this that my gamer tag has actually changed. So I've physically changed it and I know I have and I've spent coins on doing so. And I don't know why that's actually happened. So yeah, that's interesting. I might have to um, let the de developers know about that. I'll get in touch with them and hopefully, you know, they may um, uh, sort that out because that's obviously an issue. If you want to change your game tag, a lot of people may not want to do that, but you know, obviously for content purposes, you'd want to make that adjustment, but right now you can't. So yeah, that is a concern. But anyway, I'm just sort of, you know, floating about just getting some free resources, as you can see and you know just making the most out of everything um i might should i craft myself a stone pickaxe i think i should and i'll get him to do what he needs to do um he's actually a little bit hungry at the moment so i may as well feed him and give him some water and what have we got we've got some cane seed we've got some cane so this is going to be something that i need to get a lot more of i need to get a lot more cane only because that, well, it's a requirement for you making um, your your base, basically. So the flooring foundation, you do need uh, 
cane to actually, uh, you know, weed down your your foundation there, and also with um, with a bit of bamboo as well. So there's that. So we're gonna head back over home here, and we'll fix. Oh, I'll show you actually. Um, oh, okay. An error occurred in the app, and the app will be closed, please. Oh, okay. Well then, I might have to jump back into the game. Possibly. Well, it looks like there's an update. A physical update, possibly. Yeah, I'm still recording. So that's interesting. Don't know why that's happened. That's the first um, glitch I've had in the game so far. So, you know what? At least you guys see that as it is, for what it is. And we'll just enter on home. Hopefully that doesn't become a common thing. I would hope not. But for now, that's happened. All well and good. Just want to see if there's anything else that I can see around here that we can sort of interact with or anything else in between. We've got the homestead here, which was called the birth, I believe it was. We've got Billy over here. Um, actually, that's what I wanted to check out. Oh, okay, cool. So we've got applicants. Okay, so I can accept. We can only do two of two. Not enough births increase the size number of births to increase the size of your team. Okay, there you go. So that's what I wanted to look at to find out what was going on with that and if I could add. But as you can see, I've only got two of two allowed, which I have these two guys here. So, rent, what does that mean? The last sailor should stay to guard the fort. Oh, okay, so I can't send until I increase my capacity. So there's always gonna be one sailor that needs to remain back at base to protect the base, of course. And this fellow here, he's actually still out on a task at the moment. Well, maybe I can complete. Oh, okay, cool. What did you get for me? You got some rough hide. Got some charcoal and we got some bamboo. Okay, cool. So what I did is I ha I had sent him to a one of those harder zones to see what we can get from there. And so far, at least I can dump that into that. I'm gonna need to work out how to get some copper fasteners. That'll be something that I'll be doing fairly soon, but I need to do some base expansion. So to sort of emphasize exactly what I was talking about, your walls require bamboo um, and also rope but the floors require cane and to build out this a little bit is going to take a little bit of resources for me so I'm going to have to um, craft well not craft I'm going to have to run over to town quite often to try and get that sorted out or what I can do here is all the canes that I'm um, that I'm obtaining and all the seeds that I'm getting here I can put that into making some cane and at least this way this will sort of expand my operations a little bit more quicker so that's basically what I'm sort of looking at at the moment but anyway I think this will probably be a good time to go ahead and leave it here today so look all in all as always I do appreciate, appreciate you guys stopping by checking out the video hopefully you enjoyed this one a um, bit of a, of a bounty run. Um, I don't think I'll be able to do this one here considering I need to go to the Lucius Island. I don't think I'm going to be equipped for that. So um, I might have to give that one a miss. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comments how you guys are getting on with the game. If you are enjoying it. If you guys are not fortunate enough, I do apologize. It's not something that I want to do purposely to... You know show you a game that you guys can't play i just want to show it purely so you guys can get a better look at it and hopefully you guys can benefit from that that's is my aim so i hope you guys still appreciate that nonetheless but anyway i am going to leave here today appreciate you guys stopping by and if you guys are new to the channel like what you see if you enjoy mutiny please check out my channel as well i've also got westland survival which are based on the same developers as mutiny so check it all out and leave a like comment down below do all that sort of good stuff anyway 
I am out of here. Take it easy and I will catch you guys next time.